Last year, I tested out the worst art hacks of 2021. And since then, a whole entire new year has passed and everybody's favorite not so life hack life hack channels, they have uploaded thousands of more videos, all of which are life hacks. And today I am going to be testing out the worst art hacks of 2022. And if you thought last year's hacks were really bad, boy, you're in for a surprise. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and without further ado, let's just get started. Uh, for this first one, we're gonna start off strong because I don't know who gave this the green light. I don't know who approved this hack, but here it is. So there's her nails, right? They're really long. Okay, the hack is you put pencil lead on the nails and apparently it works like a colored pencil. <laughs> I don't know. I know this one is fake because there's no way that the colored pencils went on that smooth. Like the line that they drew, it must have been pre-drawn because that is one smooth line that those nails drew. All right, so here's what the nails look like. And I'm not gonna lie, these are kind of a slay. I feel so like sassy right now. As you can see, they are not as majestic as the original posts, but I feel like these will still work. Uh, yeah, this looks nothing like the original picture. First of all, just like I predicted, the hand is all wavy because it's hard to like sweep your hand in one fluid motion. Second of all, I couldn't even get the thumbnail to work because the anatomy of my hand. Yeah, so this art hack obviously does not work. So if you wanna know how to paint trees, instead of using literally any of the thousands of paint tools out there to create the said tree, uh, you can instead use a piece of broccoli. And apparently said piece of broccoli will create a perfect tree. This is a real hack, people. Bring forth the broccoli. For this hack, I'm only gonna use maybe one to two pieces of broccoli because this is another hack that I don't wanna waste the product that I bought. So we'll get a piece of broccoli. I guess just get it full of paint. And let's see if it makes leaves. Oh yeah! It's definitely working right now. I mean, it's not working spectacular. Like, I feel like you could get this exact same effect with like a scrunched up towel or a sponge or something. Like, you don't need to waste broccoli to be able to do this hack. In fact, I have a brush right next to me. This is the first brush that I grabbed. You can get the exact same effect with this. Look at that, boom. So yeah, this hack, unfortunately it does work, but at what cost? Okay, so here's the scene. You're spilling your paint water. It's all over your painting. That happens to us all, right? Well, the solution is to get a balloon, cut it up, and apparently it acts almost like a suction to keep in all the water from spilling. And it almost acts like a protective cover. And apparently it keeps it from spilling all over the place. Oh my God, why is this so tough? That was a lot tougher than I thought, but here it is, the balloon over the cup of water. And let's see if it stops it from spilling over. It's literally spilling all over the place. Oh God, where's the paper towels? Um, no, doesn't work whatsoever. It made an even bigger mess than what I started with. No, this hack doesn't work at all. Oh, and look, it's coming apart already. It hasn't even been like a minute and it's already fallen apart. Oh, this hack is so bad. I'm gonna give it like a double no. This next art hack is very interesting because it's basically a way to create your own markers. You get the wet wipes, you get a cotton swab, roll said wet wipes in the cotton swab. You tie them all up, add in your dye to each individual one, and apparently those things make a marker. These Charmin wet wipes, they smell so good. It's literally one of my favorite smells of all time. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna roll up one ear swab. So far, so good. Now I just gotta tape it up. If the tape will stick to it because it's a wet surface. Now I'm just gonna get the food dye and drip it. So it's been about three minutes and it's absorbed a decent amount. It doesn't look anything like the five minute crafts one at all, but it should work enough to be a marker. So let's see. I hate the fact that this is working right now. I hate the fact that this is working right now. Look at that. 
Oh my god! It's not as smooth as the original five minute craft one, clearly. And as soon as I started using it, the ear swab thing like went up inside of the paper towel roll. Now I'm just basically rubbing a colored wet wipe on a piece of paper. I don't know who would do this. I don't know what situation would call for this, but this one is working. Up next, we have an art hack that makes you just say, why, 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 why? Why? Instead of just doing the normal person thing and using a cup or a jar or something to hold your paintbrushes, the hack is, is that you can use a tip of a broom. I don't know. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done with this video. I'm done with five minute crafts. I'm done with them. I don't, I don't have any explanation. I don't know. I'm done. That's it. Lights out. I'm not doing this video anymore. No more. <laughs> Here is my brush and pretend like I'm coloring. I'm coloring. I'm doing my drawings or whatever. And I need to organize this pencil. So I would put it in here. <laughs> it's kind of working. Let me do another one. Why is this actually working so good? It's mostly holding them really well. Let me try one close to the edge and see if it'll like tip out. Oh no, that's working so good. Look, I'm like shaking it and it's still holding into place. What is this? This hack right now, it doesn't feel real. It feels like a hack that would work in my dreams, not in real life, you know what I mean? Oddly enough, this hack works. For this next one, I just know it's fake. So they get the flowers, you mash some flowers onto a white t-shirt and bada bing, bada boom. You get like a perfect flower design. This one, I just know it's fake. And you know how I know it's fake? The second shot of the product, like right before they start mashing, the imprint of the flower is already there. And not just that, but if you look at the actual design afterwards, it looks way too perfect. I highly doubt it's gonna work and look that nice. Ugh, I don't wanna do this hack. Even though I bought these for like $4 at Walmart, I don't wanna destroy them, you know what I mean? And by the way, I got this shirt in a really large size, that way I can wear it to bed because y'all better believe whatever the design is of these flowers, I'm keeping it. Maybe I'll just do one flower. That way I can like still keep the other ones. And I'm just gonna put this bag over it. That way I don't get the hammer dirty. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, I'm just like smashing up a flower. <laughs> That's literally my job right now. Moment of truth. Literally nothing happened. Actually, no, I lied. There is one mark on the whole thing, but it's nothing compared to like the actual five minute crafts flowers. And I'm sad. I'm sad that I wasted a good flower for nothing. This next one is gonna come with a warning. If you are a digital artist, please exit right now because what you're about to see, I apologize in advance for. And I don't even do a lot of digital, but when I saw this hack, guys, I recoiled in my seat. Like when I saw this, I was like, oh, this can't be real. So the hack is, is that if you have, <laughs> if you don't have a stylus and for some reason your pencil doesn't work, uh, you can wrap a piece of foil on it and you can drag that hard, crushed up aluminum against your drawing pad screen. No, ah, oh, God. For this hack, if it does end up scratching my iPad, I swear I will be calling the cops. Let's see if this wretched cursed hack actually works. The answer to that is no. Oh, wait a second. The opacity was like all the way down. So maybe this hack does work. Okay, yeah, no, it still doesn't work. Okay, never mind. If you're tired of spilling your paint everywhere, you can make your own DIY paint cup holder and paintbrush holder, all with some duct tape and a desk. This should be super easy. All you do is tape the tape to the desk. So here it is, nice and taped up. <laughs> and I say that with extreme caution. All right, moment of truth. <sighs> Oh God, the tape is completely detached from the sides. And the only thing holding this, this up right now is the back part of the tape. This hack is genuinely scaring me right now because it is two seconds away from like ripping open and spilling all over my carpet. You know, on second thought, it is kind of, uh, oh God. Okay, yeah, no, it's not working. It's not working. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, for this next one, I am kind of excited to do this one. And I feel like it's just a DIY that's like fun and simple that anybody can do. This is basically a way to make your own DIY rainbow splattered phone case. And it seems really easy. All they're doing is just like squishing the acrylic paint onto the phone case. And it looks so pretty. This is another one that I really hope it works. So to design this, I'm gonna use some pastel colors. I think like a nice little pastel moment would look really nice. This should be a piece of cake. All you do is literally just smush it on. It's working. And it's working well too. Look at that. Oh my God, that came out perfect. Boom, baby, first try. Oh my God. Now, how do I take it off is the question. It's a lot like my mental health. See, on the outside, it looks great. It looks wonderful. But then on the inside, <laughs> And not just that, but like all the little holes and all the little places where you like plug in to charge your phone and stuff like that, they're all blocked off by paint. Like the design works, but like the actual usability is no. So I guess this hack is like a 50-50, like yes and no. And for this very final art hack, I saved the absolute best for last. I am so sorry for what you're about to see because in no world would I think anybody would ever do this art hack. Like I literally could not think of one single person on earth who would do this in their free time. This art hack has it all. It doesn't work, it's wasteful, and I don't understand it. Oh God, okay, so here's the hack. So you get some spaghetti, an entire package, mind you. You dip it in paint and apparently you use it like a paintbrush. This one by far takes the cake. This one takes the award. I thought we reached the peak of dumb art hacks last year whenever I put straight up paint in my hair for no apparent reason, but five minute crafts, they managed to do it. Oh God, okay, so here it is. And it's already breaking. Let's try this hack out. All right, so just get a little bit of paint and you just drag it as so all over the canvas. Oh, it's breaking on the canvas, oh God. Oh my, oh, oh, ah, the spaghetti is breaking all on my canvas. Like I can't even use it for its intended purpose because it's breaking, ah, it's breaking all over the place. You know what? Watching back the original hack, their spaghetti was breaking off too. And the spaghetti is not even that good at picking up the paint. Like at least the broccoli kind of absorbed some of the paint. This one is just kind of like clobbing all the sticks together. See, this is why I didn't want to use a whole thing of spaghetti because I knew it would just all go to waste. Oh God, okay, so here's the final artwork. As you can see, um, this is truly the worst art hack that I've ever, I think, done on the history of my channel. In fact, I wouldn't even say this was a life hack. It did the opposite of what a hack is supposed to do. It made my life worse. Five minute crafts, straight to jail. Uh, so anyway guys, that is all I have for you today. If you wanna see last year's video where I tested out the worst art hacks of 2021, I will leave it right here. I had a wonderful year with you guys. I hope you guys have the most wonderful holiday season and an amazing new year. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Bye.